Your BMW's audio system has a lot of features and functions. Let's show you how some of them work. Let's start off by going to the CD menu. We'll hit the CD button. Right now we're on CD DVD. To play a CD, simply insert the CD into the CD player on the dash. Once you see the CD loaded on the screen, we can select it. We're now shown all the tracks on the CD. We can use the iDrive controller to rotate down and select a track, or we can use the steering wheel controls to go up or down the tracks. At the top of the screen, you'll see Store and Vehicle. If you select this option, this will allow you to transfer the CD to the hard drive in the car if equipped. The CD DVD player in your BMW can also play DVD movies if the vehicle is stationary. Simply load the DVD into the slot on the dash. The movie would then appear on the screen for you to select. Once selected, you'll be given options to control your movie, such as play, pause, stop, next chapter, previous chapter, fast forward, or rewind. Sliding the controller to the left, it skips you from the DVD menu. To the left one more time, takes you back out to the main menu for the CD multimedia option. Music collection is the hard drive located inside your vehicle. Clicking music collection will display all the CDs and music files you transfer to the hard drive. To transfer music to the hard drive, you can do so from a CD or from the USB located in the glove box. To transfer from the USB located in the glove box, simply insert a USB stick. Click Option. Go to the bottom of the option page to Music Data Import Export. Then click on Import New Music. You'll get a progress screen across the top. Once it is finished, you'll be able to control it and play that music from your music collection located in iDrive. Once you've imported your music onto the hard drive, simply go to Music Collection. You can click Music Search and search everything on the hard drive by genre, artist, albums, title. Once you've selected the criteria, you click Start Play and it filters your music. You can also choose top 50. It's the top 50 tracks you played on the hard drive. You also see the folders for the files you transferred to the hard drive. If it was a CD, it's represented by a CD symbol to the right. If it came in from a USB stick, it's represented by a folder to the right. In the music collection screen, we can see the names of the CDs we transferred and the USB sticks we transferred. If we want to rename those to something more familiar, We'll highlight the device, click Option, then select Rename Album. Then we can simply delete the text that's currently there and type in any name that we want to refer to the CD. If in the future you would like to remove that from the hard drive, simply highlight it, click Option, Choose Delete Album. If we slide it to the left and select External Devices, we're presented with some options here. At the top, you can see we've already got an iPhone plugged into the USB option inside the armrest. Now you can use your iPod cable that came with your device and plug it with the single wire straight into the USB. To insert an iPod cable into the USB in the center armrest, you need to use the edge of the cable to slide the dust cover over and then insert the plug. Once you've done that, you'll see it displayed on the screen. Once it's on the screen, we can select it, or you can choose the genre, the artist, the composer, the album, or the track. Once you've filtered it to your selection, simply click Start Play. Now, listening to the music, we're presented with the artist and the track information. We can go through the tracks using the iDrive controller or using the steering wheel controls. We're also now 
capable of displaying album art information at the top right of the screen. If we slide the controller back to the left, we can also choose, instead of filtering the music, to choose one of the playlists you've created through iTunes. With the iPod playing and you have album art displayed, you can also see that album art on the split screen side. Hit option, activate split screen. Once you have the split screen up, make sure it's on entertainment details. It'll first come up with the artist and track information and then it'll switch over and show you the album art for that particular song. Going back out, we can also choose a Bluetooth audio device. Selecting the device, we're brought up with track information and the capability of going forward and back through tracks. These capabilities vary depending on the software on your phone. As you can see, there are so many different ways you can enjoy your listening experience.